I found this video interesting and intriguing on several different levels. I appreciate it being mailed to me. There's one part of this video that I didn't see. The need, the overall addiction to want to have the power to pick and choose any woman or to the need, the will and determination of these manginas to salt up another man. I like how you, you say they'll talk down the other man. And then the part about the women's sexual uh, freedom, so to speak, um, that was a good, one of the best parts of the video because back in the day, a woman was considered a hoe if she had more than one partner before she was a certain age or women wanted to be pure before they were um, soiled. In other words, they don't want to be run around the block before they go out and you know, be put on display. They, they want to be on display before they get run around the block instead of run around the block then placed on display. And nowadays, these young women in this uh, independent era are independently able to, to take care of themselves and sustain a situation. Um, in what I just said by being able to sustain a situation without the necessarily need for a man I also believe that's another reason why a lot of women are becoming homosexual um, of course people are born that way or what have you but sexually when you see these guys bragging about yeah man I was with this girl and this other girl it, to me you know, having that experience as a young man was good, but as an adult, I look back at that experience and I'm like, I'm saying to myself, okay, two women, what the fuck that got me? What? Nothing. I mean, in the real world, there's supposed to be a man, his woman, and his kids, and his life, and thing goes like that, but in, in this world, on this planet we live in, is people can do whatever they want to do, and then when their consequences don't match up with their actions, they're pissed off, and there's a frustration and animosity between the sexes. In other words, I can go out and find any man I want, these women say, and then when they have these relationships with several different men, just like men have done in the past with women, they come to a conclusion, well, I want this one. Well, this one does not want you now because he's had you. Other than, like in the olden days when a man and woman got together and shit, it was like an exploratory thing. It's like, you know, how you doing? Well, how you doing? And then in the beginning of the relationship, you know, they don't know nothing about each other. For about six, seven months, they don't know shit about each other. They don't have sex with each other for the first two months of the relationship. And now, you meet a girl on Saturday night, you wake up Sunday morning, you go home, you call a girl Tuesday, and it can go one or two ways. How you doing? Come see me, or um, why you calling me? And that hurt male-female relationships, the freedom of sexual expression, not just between uh, women uh, being able to get any man they want to. Women throughout time have been able to do anything with their bodies. It isn't until now that it's perceived to be a good thing to be promiscuous and fun-loving and free with your body. And because men did it. Uh, apparently men had more than one woman throughout life. But it's a known fact that there's more women than men. Thus God's true identity. But I don't want to go there. So um, there's more women than men. And now that these women know they can pick and choose out a lot, um... That is not good for men because throughout the course of time, you can look through paintings in history. The big woman was cherished way back in the day. You didn't see no pictures, no paintings of these little petite, skinny ass, bone structured women. You didn't see that shit. Now, through technology and media, how a woman is supposed to look has been beamed across their minds. Man ain't no good. Fuck them. The 
the empowering of women is not the dethroning of men, but it sends us to another level to where equality must be seeked on a different level. Maybe this is it's time for men and women to take their brains to the next level because the bodies ain't going to go no further than that. Somebody once said a long time ago that um, during the course of life, the male eye was attracted to breasts. So as time went by, more men would flock to the women with bigger breasts, thus eliminating the women with smaller breasts, almost like breeding them out. The same thing with the male penises, apparently. Um, women wanted a certain kind of penis and throughout the course of history they weeded the ones out. I don't know how this works but it's a theory that I, I, I saw in video and I've um, seen it on a couple of shows on television and not YouTube where through the course of time man's needs and wants changed and the human bodies literally changed to fit the need of what people you know see or some shit I don't know but when you look at it through a male's perspective back in the days there was a lot of flat chested flat ass women out there and there's a lot of black women that were heavier back in the day now black women are skinnier some of them don't have no butts some of them don't have no breasts now white women are bigger more fuller not flat not Asian women are now bigger fuller and not as flat and when you look at the course of people we've all changed um, you see these young kids now they're all stocky most of the young dudes are stocky the regular looking guys like us we're, we're being faded out I guess I don't know but the whole weird mangina thing and all this women empowerment shit it comes down to one thing man we have become different. We are evolving as a species. The women have the power. Remember that old um, uh, Abbott and Costello movie? A lot of people don't remember Abbott and Costello. That was when there was no color on your screen. <laughs> so um, Abbott and Costello had got this rocket ship and they get to Mars or something. And the planet is filled with nothing but women. There used to be men on the planet. They aren't anymore. A handful of guys or what have you. But um, I can see something like that happening to Earth. We're weeding ourselves out with this war, violence, all this drinking and smoking, the foods we eat. Strictly drama. And drama is not good for the heart, soul, or mind. And as a real man who, hey, I'm not trying to um, put nobody on no pedestal to get no further than where I have to go in life. So I could never be a mangina. I encourage people to watch this video. Women's sexual powers causes your pain. I'm not in pain. I'm just taking all this in stride. I'm the next one to be sitting in a chair with wheels on it. I'm the next one whose hair will be totally gray. I'm one of the elders left in the village. There's not no too many older people left. Somebody once told me we need to tell our stories on this YouTube because one day we won't be here to tell our stories. Thank you for sharing this video with me. And you've been tubed. Oh, can I get that voice right? <clears throat> And you've been tubed. All right. <clears throat> and you've been tubed.